it's a Grace's Chus and the uh, Grace Covid, the Rabbi Oberlander, is joining us. He was one of the visionaries and the inspirations for this Kailal over a year ago. And I just wanted to be Makar Toiv. It's also on the Vada Rabbanim of the Kailal, and he's advising uh, the Rosh Kailal Rabbi Raskin on many of the decisions we're making. So, Grace Nyashikayar for your support. Thank you. Okay, so um, uh, I want to go over a little bit of Hilchis Agola, which is basically uh, what a fourth. Hilchis uh, basically is divided in four parts. The Kibitl, Isve Hetan Oestam Lefgam, Laila Saider, and Hagola. And Hagola is one of the things which is quite important for us. It's important for us. For Pesach, especially people who don't have a Pesach kitchen, which today's day, uh, there's a quite a lot of people which uh, do not have. People in Monsim is probably most of them have, but people of other other uh, communities not necessarily have a Pesach kitchen, so they have to kasher. So I want to go over a little bit of the halachas of kasher, of we what we need to do, what how to kasher, when to kasher. Watu Kasher, and uh, it's also Nagaya all year round because people go in uh, A, B, and B houses from summer in summer houses. Even today, I have uh, I had a couple who called me because they went for Pesach. They go leaving for Pesach in a uh, Goisha house. How to go about it? It's Nagaya like Abbas of Cholov. It's Nagaya for all of Alochas. It's not Hilchas and Meshich. So let's start with some klulam of Hilches Agula, which you came across already in the beginning of the simon. There's a klal in alocha, kavala kach polte. The, may, the way how it absorbed the iser, the same way you take it out. So a thing which you absorbed through fire, that means a grill, a toaster, you have to cash it also through fire. That means you have to have a blowtorch. You have to have fire mamash to take out the blia. A thing which is uh, got the blia through um, water, that's, you have to take it out also through water, which is called hagola. That means when you take it out through uh, fire, it's called libm. When you take it out through, through water, it is called Hagol. Now, there's different halachas in Libin, there's different halachas in Hagol, which we're going to get to it. If a thing became absorbed through kailarishan, that means a pot which got absorbed through fire, that means but it was water, but through fire, that means kailarishan, you have to take it out of the kailarishan. A thing which you have absorbed only keli shiny, plates, utensils, which most of the time it is only through keli shiny, you can take it out only by keli shiny. Um, um, you can take it out by keli shiny. Avada, you can take it out by keli shiny. Avada, but again, you can take it out by keli shiny. A thing which got absorbed through iri, you can take it out through iri also. That's the Lekidus Advurim of Kabbalah Kachpolta. What's Iri? Iri means it comes from a clearition, but it doesn't have the walls of the pot. Usually when you have a pot, the pot is hot, the walls are hot, and the, wall, the, pot, the walls of the pot uh, keeps the water hot. But when you have Iri, it's a achroinam, a poskam, if it has, doesn't have famas machamamas, or that it 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 uh, it has tvaras makaranas. So that but akpon that's iri. So again, I think this is the cloud which you have to know always constantly kabal kachpolta. The way I took it in, the way I take it out. A thing which took you took out um, with agola clearition, you took you, you could take out through libin, because since libin is a higher level of agola, so therefore if you take it out with libin. Is not better. Now in Lim we have two things. There's a thing which is called Lim Khumar. Lim Khumar means 
that it is a way that it's very hot, which means according to what the Pasuk say, it means that you have a pot, you boil it all, you boil it till it becomes red. That's called lim. It becomes mamash, the metal becomes red or the stone becomes really red. Now, in today's day, you aren't going to have a metal which is become, going to become red because the way how the metal is today's day, it won't get red because it has to do how much air there is in the metal, the way how they produce the metal. So the way how to know what is lim gomer and what does it mean netzoitz is nitzin, the post can say it means if you take a, 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 a hammer, you knock on the, on the metal, it will have sparks. So that means that it is lim chumer. Some say that when you close the lights, you're going to see some kind of reddish. But again, that's called lim chumer. Lim kal is a lower level of lim, which is kash nisra. Practical matter, what does it mean? Um, when you take a, a tissue or a newspaper, which is thin piece of paper, you put it outside of the pot, and it, it gets, uh, shr shr it shrinks. That's kash nisra, and that means lim kal. One place the Alter Rebbe writes also Yatzol's boy. The poets can say what is the difference when you need Yatzol's boy or not. It depends if it is a blia or you have to burn it lim kal because of a ba'en. If it's a ba'en, you need to have mamash um, kash nisra, or it's a nishka ba'en, kenazan och Yatzol's boy. So anything which you need, Hagula, you want to make um, Lim, it's no problem. It's a higher level of cashing. And it will come, we're going to come a little bit later to the Nikidas, where we'll, we'll, we'll use this kind of halacha that Lim Kal is good for Hagol. So this is the Nikidas of which we need to know. Um, a thing which got absorbed by Kuvish, we know Kuvish at Kimavishul, then you have to have regular hagul. So again, to sum it up, I think which went in through fire, you need to have lib, and you need to have it lib guma. I think which is when in by clearition, you have to have you can have a, you have to have a gola of hagula clearition. What what is hagula clearition? Boiling up a pot of water till it becomes boiling, bubbling, and we're going to come to the lochs a little bit later. More proton. I think which is a blia through iri is enough iri by pouring. A thing which is um, klishayni needs to have klish, can have klishayni. Kmivim, if you want to make the higher level of um, kashering, that's fine. That's the, the kids had vurim. That's all of this is by kailam, which is klaimatchas, etc. Klacheres does not have a heter of um, of Aini Yosem Lai Dafla Oilem, as the Gemara says, Tlecheres does not come out the Blias. As the Torah writes, it's interesting, the Torah writes in Simatuf Chuf Ches, that the reason why always before Pesach we lay in Parshas Tzav, or in the Iber Yush, Nasi Iber, we lay in Parshas Metzoyer. Because in these two Parshas, we have the Hilchas Agola. This, this week we have the Ilkhsa Gol, we're going to have a, a, a little bit later that Klichir is Yeshuva. And I'm sorry, next week, Pasha Sav. And if it's anybody, you have the Matsoira regarding the Matsoira that halachas. So in the, the post says Klichir is Yeshuva because Klichir is hot, nicht kam. There's no way how to take out the belief, only one way. By Chazur Alekif Shoimus. Not even living will help. Zurunif Kishonis means you put it back into the place how they made it, into that big fiery uh, oven. That will be good enough because that's already Pon Khadras Bulikan. So, as we mentioned before, Lib means that so it's Nitzin. Sparks are coming. Lib Kal means um, when it is Kash Nisraf. Now, how, um, we cannot, Lib has to be only in the Kayla, which is the way how you got the blia. That means, when you have a pot, you, the fire is in the bottom of the pot. 
the the mashke, the chomotz, is inside of the pot. You cannot make liban outside of the pot because the blias came in inside of the pot. So therefore, if you want to cash it, a pot through liban, you have to fill it up with with um, gechulam. You have to have a blowtorch, something like that. But just burning the outside is uh, nish. You cannot do that. Now, the Alter Rebbe writes it clearly by Klacheres. When it comes to Klimatchis, most of the boys can hold that you could kasher even if the blias are from inside and the fire is outside. Most of the boys can go according to this, and that's why most of the boys can are more lenient and living even if the fire is not inside in the pot or in the oven, which we're going to come to the, over there in a, in a minute. But the Alter Rebbe, Bapashtas, Bapashtas, I'm saying Bapashtas because there are some who wants to say that the Alter Rebbe also holds like that, but Bapashtas, we see, the Alter Rebbe holds, even by Klaimatches, that you have to have the Hagula, the Libm has to be the way how it got the, the, the Tam. So if the Tam got from inside, you cannot uh, make Libm from outside. So therefore, <laughs> If you have, for instance, let's go straight to the, to the point. If you have an oven which is, does not have an element inside, inside in the oven, and you want to uh, make living, according to the Alter Rebbe, it will be a problem because the fire is outside. It's covered. And the, the inside where the chomets could be does not get Libm, and therefore you cannot cash it. When it comes to self-cleaning oven, that's really a different case because over there there's elements inside too. So automatically there is also fire inside, and therefore I would say most of the poiskim, I won't say all, most of the poiskim will say that the self-cleaning oven can be cashed for Pesach if you make the whole cycle. It goes up to the degree over 900. You could burn it out and you could use it for Pesach without putting in anything inside. Kamivan, the rack is Kedai that you should cover with silver foil or is um, or change the rack but and, and, and cover the door, the glass with the gasket. Other than that, you could use it like this. When it comes to regular ovens, which doesn't have an element inside, then you got a problem. And therefore, um, the post can say that you should use it only after you make you, you burn it for a, an hour on the highest level, and then you put in an insert. Some people put in silver foil all around, but that's not good. It's not healthy for the oven and does not, not bake. So it trade that you could buy inserts, which you put in after making a living, you still have to put in an insert inside into the oven. But again, that's the Nikida by the Alter Rebbe is more because the Alter Rebbe, according to Pashtas, you have to have a living only on the way how it got it in. That means if inside was the blia, you cannot just burn it out from outside, although it gets piping hot. Um, just to make it clear, Hagola means hot water, and we don't use other mashkim. Shar mashkim, it's not Hagola. Dafka water. Bedoichik, Shasat Chagudl, the Poiskim would rely on the heter of Shar Mashkem only when you have to do it. For instance, uh, chocolate companies. Uh, chocolate companies. Um, the, you cannot cash a, a company which makes chocolate because water is a killer for chocolate. So um, the way how they cash it, they put it in chocolate, piping hot, and the first batch they throw away, that's the Hagula, and then they use it. So, the, and, and this is how the way they do most of the companies. There are bothered in companies which will have separate lines for uh, uh, Milchiks, that means which has a problem of or in or even not, a component for Morichis Paravan. But again, we only rely on uh, cushion with other things only. Um, 
before Pesach, people have a machine which is called a, a um, steamer, which takes off all kinds of dirt through hot water, piping hot water. That's good for cleaning. And um, it not, has nothing to do with Hagola. By the way, before I go further, I see some questions come again. I cannot read it now. If you could, uh, a little bit later, we have questions and answers, you'll bring it up over there then. Okay. How does a goal work? How does a goal work? It's a machlok is a reshoin. The Ram says that the water goes in into the kli and machlish the blia. That means it weakens the blia. Other person can say no. It takes out the blia and uh, it takes it out. It takes out the blia. According to the Ram, the water goes in into the, the, the keli. And so to speak, it weaks it, and then it doesn't, it loses the sham of Iser. And most other poets can say that it takes out the blir. The main afkimina. The afkimina will be if you have a kela, which is ben yoima. So if you're going to cash a kela ben yoima and the water is going to take out the blirs, the water is going to become treif. For instance, if you cash it for treif or if you cash it for chomats, the water is going to become chomats. And then it will go in to the, to the, the keli again, and you still have a problem because it has a blia. Now, true, it has a shvacher blia, but again, it came out, doesn't have 60 shishim against it, so it doesn't become bottle. Then the blia goes in back into the keli. Therefore, it is a problem of to kasher a ben yoima. So the poets can say, that there's two options. One option is you have shishim. Always you make sure you have 60 times water more than the whole keili, a big pot. Therefore, although the bleas come out into the water, since you have shishim, it becomes bottle. And therefore, once it goes back into the, into the, the pot, this is bottling one, there's no problem. Other eighty is it should be a nebayoima. And that's the meaning that we, we have today. All the kalem has to be Aina Ben Yoima. Because of this reason, if you're going to Kasher, Ben Yoima is going to come into the water, it's going to go back. If it's Aina Ben Yoima, since the Blia is Aina Ben Yoima, it's a Shvacha Blia, it's a Pugim Diga Blia, goes back to the kalem. I don't have an issue. And that's why we are marked, but always we have, when you Kasher, a sink, a table, whatever it should be, we are makpet that it should be ein b'yoyma, and then you don't need to have shishim. We don't care to have shishim, and we don't have takas shishim. We kasher uh, a, 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 a knife which became trifle. You know, how do you kasher it usually during the year? You take a can of uh, peas, carrot, uh, peas, carrots, peas and carrots, and corn, whatever it should be, and you you boil water, you dip it in. You don't have shishim against the the, the, the knife, but since it's ein b'yoyma, we don't have an issue. According to the Ram. We, we wouldn't need Bechal Shishim because he says the water goes in inside in Mesmachlish. But since we passed in, like the other Rishonim, that it takes out the water. So therefore, we always need to have or, sh or either Shishim or it should be Ein Bayon. When it comes by Liba, by the way, you don't need to have it in Ein Bayon. Some people are Machmer, but Ryan Alucha, since by Liba it burns out, the Chola dies, it burns out the Blias. You don't need to have any bayoima, and therefore you don't have to wait. And it will, it will, it's it's the guy Lamas. Sometimes a person wants to cash it, um, his oven, uh, air of shvias. Yeah, he, he wants he wants to cash it from uh, from from um, from fleshiks, to milchiks, or to parav, or whatever it should be. And it's air of air of it's not any bayoima. So since you're talking about Liban, you could rely. And most persons would say, Liban do not need to have Aina uh, because it burns out the blias, and therefore you don't have to wait to be 24 hours between using it. When, you, when, you, when it comes to Kashan, when it comes to Kashan, it has to be Malar Sicha. It is not enough, it's Yatzaldas boy. It has to be Malar Sicha. That means it has to be bubbling, it has to come be bubbling. 
Now, it doesn't have to be big bubbles, but it has to be bubbles. And it's very important to know this because usually when you cash it, a lot of kalem, it will happen after a few kalem, the water will stop, be, will not, would stop bubble. Even though it's on the fire, it will stop bubbling. So therefore you have to stop cashing them, cover it, and then you are going to wait till it starts bubbling again, and then you could continue cashing from, from uh, or you can continue cashing. Also, you have to know that the, the kale in which you cash it has to be dry, because if it's wet, is the coldness of the cold water makes a problem for the for the for the malar sichas. Therefore, it has to be um, dry. Another thing is a very important uh, um, halacha which people do not realize. When it comes to hagola, kalem cannot touch each other. We know there is the famous company which is called Ner Mitzvah, which gave us a lot of good things during the year. Chanukah and, 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 and Pesach and Shuas and Sikas and Cheesecake and uh, whatever they, they make, bring from China, all kinds of things which we need for Chaga Yisrael. So they made a whole set of kashering. And it's very good because they have a stone, which we will we'll talk a little bit in a minute, why we need the stone. And we have a stone which you could boil, has a good handle. Then you have a pitcher which you could uh, boil the water. But then they have also a pot. And in the pot, they have a net, like, like a, a basket, which people put in a lot of utensils, and they cash it like that. But the problem of this is that the tens, utensils usually will touch each other. And when utensils touch each other, there's a problem because the place where it touches does not get uh, hagola. So therefore, you have to make sure if you want to use that, um, that basket, you use it only for big kalem or two, and you have to make sure when it's in the water, you 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 you, you, you stip it. You make sure that it doesn't touch. Then it's a right agula. But if kalem touches each other, it is a problem, according to Allah. Now we mentioned in the beginning of the shir that um, anything kagol kebal kachpolter. So therefore, when we need to kasher, we have to kasher kebal kachpolter. So if you have a table, for instance, a diner table. Now, a dining room table, let me just make it clear. A dining room table, since you always use it only when it's covered, you don't have to do anything. Since you use it only with a tablecloth, Pesach, you use it also with a tablecloth, you don't need to do anything. But when it comes to a diner table, that's already a problem, because a diner table could be Chomot's Mamash, because um, it will happen that people will take out toast and put it on the table. Or you, you, you could eat a whole hot pizza and it will slip out of the, out of the plate, will touch the table. People, the Rebunushin Tzitkunis, will take out chalas of the oven and take her out from the pan and put it on the table. All these things makes it that it is, um, uh, uh, it has to have, it's called Kailerish Mamash. So therefore, you have to have a Gula Kailerish Mamash. So if you go to, um, cook um, and boil a pot of hot water and pour it on top of the table, it's going to be eerie clearition. It's not e clearition, it's going to be eerie clearition. Eerie clearition is a lower darga of clearition. So the blia was on a clearition mamash. And when you're going to cash it, it's going to be eerie clearition. That's a lower darga. So therefore, it's not in cash. So therefore, in order it should stay a kailerishan, again, we mentioned why, why is it eerie a lower level? Because you don't have the hot, the hotness of the walls, which is uh, burning hot because it was on the fire. So therefore, the post can say you take Ava Maliban. Ava Maliban, you have to take, is, let me make it clear, very clear, because I heard uh, Terefka Morov. Ava Maliban means a stone, which is boiled, which is malibm, malibm, like libm. Why do I stress it? Because Rav told me today that he gave a shir in Lechus Pesach, and a guy came over to him and said, I always used a brick, but I thought even malibm means a even which is a malaben, a, a, not a stone, a solid stone, only a stone which is a brick. 
So Eiffel Malibu means a stone which has a brick, a brick stone. So the problem was not only the Eiffel Malibu did not help, it made, it made Kalia. It was a problem because it is cold and it made cold water. So Eiffel Malibu means you take a stone, you put it on top of the fire, it becomes piping hot, red. Now, when you take the Eiffel Malibu and you put it right next to the table, not, don't put it on the, on the counter if you have a bike because you're going to burn it. You keep it high above a half inch, a quarter of an inch, and you pour the hot water. So what happens? It's like an iri, but since it touches the stone and the table together, the stone keeps on making it hot. It is as if it's on the fire. And that's called avium malibum. It makes it for clear vision. So therefore, we have to make sure a counter, a table, or countertops has to be cached through um, through a avium malibum. And you may have to make sure that the water was all over. That means that you take the Ave Malim, you take it all over around. I gave another solution, if it's more practical, that you pour the water and then you take a unplugged, which you just, right away you unplug your iron and you go through the iron, which is piping hot of the metal, and you go through the water, that's also good enough of Ave Malim. And this is the way how you cash it countertops and that's called Kashan Be'iri, um, a declaration mamash, because um, because you have the stone. Um, when it comes to Pesach, this is how you cash it. Now, if you cash it, a table or a countertop, which is marble, granite, so once you do this with Avon Malib, you don't have to cover it at all, because you have the real cash, uh, uh, Hagola clearition, and it is, um, and it is, uh, you could cash it. Clay ate some, you could cash it. Clay even, you could cash it. When it comes to Vamaika, you're going to get into a problem of Amachloikas. If plastic is shy to have a gula, if not shy to have a gula, I would say most possible will say it is shy to have a gula, but some posts can say they don't. So therefore, even if you cash with Avon Malibu, you should still cover the table or the countertops because. Um, not necessarily it's a proper Hagola, especially there is a Mashmoz in Semach in the Chiva, one, one of the Chivas of Semach Tzedek, which is Semach is Mashma, that if you take a Chala, which is out of the oven, and you put it on the table Mamash, that's even more than a, a um, clearition. That's even like Alo Aish Mamash. Now, all the Poskim do not say such a thing. Semach is also not clear. So therefore, it is Kedai in such a case to cover it. And therefore, if you cover it in any case, if you make double covers, you don't need to cash it to begin with. Because once you have double cover and you make sure that it's good sealed, that means it won't come, it won't tear, it won't uh, come water between the, 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 it won't have holes. So therefore, it's not a problem because it is Shloish Nois Naitam. Yeah, it's three times noise like tam. The tam of chumats goes into the, ca to the counter. The counter takes out the, the blia into the, the, the water, which is between the counter and the cover, and it goes in into the, sec the, the cover. So therefore, but it's one cover which should be fine. The Chsam Soifa writes that we have always a chashash, that um, we have always a chashash, that it will tear, or uh, so therefore he says you should always have two covers, and it is fine. Now, covers, what, what considers a cover? Anything and everything, silver foil, even the second cover could be even a plastic table cover. If it's a second cover, you, that means the first cover you put something thick, a, a cardboard or uh, whatever you have, and on top of it, you put a silver foil, Good seal, that means it shouldn't, because in a table, you could, it, will, it could go water in the need. Or you have a, a plastic silver tablecloth, even though it's thin, but you tape it around good. That's considered two covers. I feel that if you have the new kind of plastic, which is double-headed, that should also be considered a two, a two covers. But the only problem is for the sides. So therefore, in any case, it's Kedai to cover it 
with a plastic because the sides will always go in water. So again, if you make two covers, you don't need to cover it to begin with. So when it comes to countertops or um, or or um, or table counter tables, uh, kitchen tables, which is made from formica, then the best thing will be <coughs> you cash it and then you cover it. But if you cover it twice, then you could get away with that too. Um, I'll, I'll stop here for a minute because I see there's some questions coming in. And if uh, you want to ask, uh, go over the questions that she had before we go further, um, you can unmute uh, the people that if they have some questions because I didn't, I couldn't read it while talking. Why did you say that we should unplug the iron before using it? First of all, because it's dangerous. The main thing. You, if you have a, you could plug it in and keep it as a vadigin, but it's possible, not practical. It's very dangerous. How long could you still uh, assume that it's still hot enough? How long? The uh, uh, metal or stone will stay long for a while. That means, again, it depends. Once you, you, you do the table, if you want to do a, a countertop again, you should put it back on the fire again for uh, some time. Also, when you when you use the brick, you, the Nair Mitzvah sells you a brick. Yes. How do you how do you know if it's hot enough and if it cooled down already from the water that you're pouring over it? Again, when you see it's it's good enough, you'll see it becomes the 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 wire around the stone will become a reddish, some kind of reddish, and you're gonna see on the that it's really piping hot. Usually I let it uh, uh, cook, uh, uh, being on the fire is probably for an, over an hour. Mm -hmm. when, when, you're, when, when you use that thing, I used it, it comes, yeah. you have the, the why, it comes in like this, this uh, in the thing to hold it with through, a, through the yeah. wires, but mm -hmm. it, then the stone is not actually touching the... We don't need the stone to touch the table. I need that the water, when you pour it on the stone, the same water, the, the splash will be on the water and it will be on the table. That's what I need. Mm -hmm. need that and if, if you're you doing a sink, it, so you're doing a sink, a metal yeah. sink. So you have the, yeah. the walls of the sink, you put the stone and you pour the water in between the stone and the sink. Yes, you put it on the stone and the, and the stone will, the water will go on the stone and on the sink. Slowly from the bottom till, till the top. Okay, so let me read some questions. Why do you need to cover the tracks in a self cleaning oven? Um, only to be machmer on the poiskem, which say that it could be that that's a place where the, the, they have direct contact with the chomets. That means people will put in direct, let's say, a piece of challah, a piece of, uh, will be direct on that rack. And therefore, I want to be machmer on the people who want to say that could be that since the, the, the hummus was direct on that metal um, and it gets cashed only by heat, which I personally I have no issue with it, but again, uh, Rafarkash has an issue with it. So therefore I always say the racks which get come direct in contact with the hummus, it is Kedai that you should cover it or change it. Uh, what's considered a cover? Does it need to have a certain thickness? As I mentioned, no, it doesn't need to have, but it has to be so that it shouldn't be, get torn because if it gets torn, it gets a hole and the water goes in, the, in between, that's the problem. We want that it shouldn't be, um, it shouldn't get torn. And that's why if you have double, double, even if the top one gets a hole, it's nicht gefährlich. It's still a foil, then a, uh, it's foil, then table cloth, two covers. Yes, yes. Two covers is two, two covers, but it has to be good sealed. No water should go through. The boil, how hot is living cow? Um, it's very difficult to say, but uh, when it comes to uh, kasher between milichix and fleishix, um, we rely on even non-cell cleaning oven. That means a person has all year round, it doesn't have a self-cleaning oven, and he wants to cash it for milichix or fleishix, 
and of a part of again, we'll, uh, ju just uh, let me digress a second. The law is that you cannot cash it, kalem, you cannot cash a kalem, you make it or part of it for a while, and then you change it or you make it rife. That's a law because you're going to come to pr problems. When it comes to Liban, a lot of poise come, even I would say the majority of poise come say that doesn't apply. So therefore, we could cash it a malabim from milchiks to fleishiks. Again, it's kedai that right after you changed it, a fleishik oven to milchiks, you should right away be malabim it again because you can forget. That will be a problem. So you do it right away afterwards. And as we mentioned before, when it comes to lim, you don't have to make, you don't have to make ayna uh, So, yeah. Yeah. what? When you cash a sink, um, do you cash the faucet first or the sink first? You when you cash the faucet, when you cash the, the sink, what do you do first? Good question. Now, if you're gonna cash the faucet first, you can have a problem of using it in hot water, and you have to wait another 24 hours. So usually I say cash the sink first. And uh, once the sink is cashed, then you're going to cash the faucet and the comes come problem because afterwards, once the sink is cashed already. And um, you, you, you put the, the sink, you put in afterwards, you put in the sink some, some kind of cold water. And then when the water, we cash it, the, the faucet, the water goes down, goes into cold water. So usually. Yeah, but but it's, a, it's a problem that the, the water is trafe is going in the kosher sink. You just cut yeah, the sink. But no, it's not. It's not a problem because it's in already, as I mentioned before. You it. always it in the sinks, tables, everything is in the And when it comes in, it comes in water, which falls in into the cold water. You open a little bit of the sink, you leave, you let in some cold water, so then you won't have a problem. But even if it happens like that, since it's Aina Bioima, I have no problem. It goes in a believe and Aina Bioima, we have no issue of it. So when you're done with the iron, could you is it possible to use the iron and the water for the sink? Iron and the water? For a sink, because the walls, it's like not shy, like is it shy to do such a thing or I, I know it's not shy big. The water will not stay on a table. The water stays. You could put on the, the on the, right. the, the the iron. But when it comes to to um, um, on a, a sink, the water doesn't stay. So therefore, you have to use a stone. I yes. think, could you could you heat up a stone on an electrical stove, or it has to be a, on a gas? Like you can do it on anyone as long as it gets piping hot. Uh, you know, it's a Matthias. If it gets really really hot, and therefore you have no issue. That's why we pass can that you could cash it um, water which got from with, with water which got boiled by a, by a gas or by electric. We have no issue it became by like that. Some there are some who want to be machma, but we don't we are not machma on these things. So can you uh, pour the water onto the iron and then into can the you. sink? And you pour the water on the iron and then into the sink? You could, same as a stone, but again, I don't know if it's practical because the, the most of the iron is not, not metal. So by stone, you could pour hot water. Over here, a half, of, half of the iron is, is plastic. It's not a practical thing to do, uh, cash in a sink with iron. I used to say a different way how to do it. But that you have to know if you have more than one stone. I used to say, put in a towel in the sink, fill it up with sink water, hot water. That means let it hot water should, should go in. And then throw in a couple of stones. I didn't want to say today's day because a, a plumber told me that today's day the boilers are made not to be piping hot to water. And I'm not sure how many stones you need to put in in order to become mamash uh, malababias. Once upon a time, you could have water from the boiler, which was really piping hot. And then you threw in a stone or two, the whole sink, where well, you filled up the whole sink, and you threw in a stone or two. I don't know, Tracy, if it's practical. It depends on what boils. Therefore, I don't say it anymore. The best thing will be the old-fashioned way that you have a stone. And again, it's much easier today because we have these kind of stones in the, in the cages. Therefore, that's the way how to cash the, the, the sinks. I don't understand but why today with the sink... It's so easy to do a, a Libon cow with a small blowtorch. Why even go through this whole... Okay, you could do that. If you go have a blowtorch, you go through every, every part 
of the sink, yeah, and yeah. it cut, yeah, it's all this boy, mama through the fire, and even more, yeah, you could do it that way. Yeah, right? much easier. You have to be careful the drain shouldn't be plastic, but you know, like whatever type yeah, of exactly. And also after you cash in the sink, it's very important that you have to spill in inside uh, Mr. Plumber or all these sharp things, chemical things, and let it keep in, like overnight because over there you can have the end. Sometimes in the drain you will have the end, and through Nitzik, but you can have a problem. So therefore, you put in real duvera poigam and it will be uh, wonderful. Could you warm up the stone on a hummus stick, a, a stove, or you have to actually have a place up like a the stone? Do you want to use? It's gonna get hummus stick. Is that is it a problem? Again, no, it's it's it, you, you burn you burn the, the when you burn it up. Usually, I use it on a Pesach sto stove because I keep everything Pesach. But again, you can do it on a Pesach, but then you have to first um, um, put on the fire to burn out the the grates because the grates, according to the Alter Rebbe, is very humid. According to Mishnah Brir, is very easy. According to the Alter Rebbe, grades are very chumar, because over there could be chumas mamash, a, a, a noodle could be over there, yeah. and it goes in through aish mamash, so they have to burn it out. According to Mr. Biri, he says you have no issue because it always gets burned out. If you do it on a Pesach, you have to cash it after, no? If you do it on a Pesach, if you warm no. up the stone, but you're using no, it you don't before. Have to cash it. No, you have, you have the banana mitzvah cashing the top. Why you have to cash but, it? Because it touches the hummus, the counters. If it touches the counters, then you're putting it back on and then back and forth. It's not a problem. It's what? No, it's touching... yes. it, 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 touches, it touches the counter when it takes out the bleas. And it's Aina Bayoim again. It's also always so Aina Bayoim. Got it, got it, got it. With, with, with the. Would, would you be. What? To clarify, what exactly are we cashering for? When we when we cashier an oven, why are we cashering the oven? What are we worried about? And what are we considering? The material of the oven is that considered cheddar? Is that considered uh, matches? What are we? What are we? No, the oven is considered matches. Our oven is considered matches. In in and therefore we could say you can have lim. If it will be clear here, you can cash it. It's called it's it's. It's a, a matchas which could become have living. Why are we cashing it? Because you bake chalas over there, and you could have pieces of chala falling in and falling in, or even bleas by heat, by 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 uh, by uh, you could you could bake over there cakes, or you could have all kind of hummus things which gives out a blia or or a zaya which could have mama shabbat and too. So therefore, we need to be malabin it. Now, self-cleaning hummus again, as I mentioned, you make a cycle, and it is it is the problem because it gets very very hot. Uh, other ovens, uh, you used to be more Michael because they used to say that you could dismantle some people who know how to do it. They could dismantle the thermostat, and therefore it could go up all the way very hot till 900 degree. But today's day, it's not that easy. And also, I I am I, I hold that even if um, you could dismantle it, not necessarily submitted to do it, because it's still going in the chashash of chayes. We know I have a locha that one of the problems of of of, of, of living, a thing which you have always a problem that is going to bust, that you are not you cannot cash it because you always chayes that is going to break, and therefore you're not doing it proper hagula. So therefore, when it comes to ovens, even though if you can make some kind of uh, trick, uh, you will always be afraid it's going to break because it's not made. There's a reason why they make it. It should only go up to, I think, 450 to 500. I don't remember exactly how much it goes. There's a reason why. So, therefore, I'm not sure that uh, even if you can make it going higher, it will be uh, crucial because you have the problem of highs. If you have a uh, hot water, you have what? If you have a, a, a hot water heater. It stays plugged in when you pour it. Okay. Is that would that be considered a clearition? That's considered, considered clearition, yes. But if you, if when you pour it on the on the on the table, no, that won't help because again, we don't want to have the tfamas and hamams. When you it's poured in, I was fine of oil, but when you pour it, it goes out of the clee, and that's already doesn't have the tfamas. When it comes, it's only in, so it won't help. Well, if you if you're pouring it very very close to the counter, why is it different than the than the oven? If it's if it's mamish boiling, because it's still because plugged in. It's plugged in. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, it, again, 
if when you pour it in the water it touches the, the, the table, it also touches the urn, then you might be right. But I don't know if it's practical if, if you can do such a thing. Because I want, if it is like that, it touches the same time the water, but when it touches the table, it still touches the urn. Then I would say that's called Ave Malibin because Ave Malibin does not have to be Ave, it could be a piece of metal. Yeah, it could be a cobalt, which comes piping hot. So the urn, which is also metal, in Marochgit, but it's Pashtas, it won't happen. It can, it can happen. Yeah. Pashtas practically won't happen. Because they have, they, they have these, these uh, things that are one piece. And you, if you put it in an extension cord, so you, it, you, yeah. it stays plugged in, and it's, it's, boiling, it's boiling as you're pouring it. Especially the same water that's boiling is, is being poured onto the, onto the counter. So, so again, is the water machiber with the, with the pot and with, on the table? Yeah. It's machiber with the, with the pot and the table. And the, 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 the drop which is on the table is machiber to the, has the machiber to the, Just that for the first few pours, for the, fir, for the first few pours it would be. Then, it, then it, when, when okay. it gets a little water, then it will be, wouldn't be as. Well. Okay, so again, so then again, okay. So the first rule I would say is that's, that, that, that should be a problem. Right. When it's still connected inside, yeah. There's a lot more to talk about uh, Hagola. I don't know if we want that should be a uh, uh, over there or just get to the to the to the questions which uh, they sent in. I just want to have one more question. You said before about the countertop. Yeah. The, to put a for my uh, on a for my countertop to cover it. The same thing applies also the whole year. A non kosher countertop. If you cover it. Yeah. Yes. If you cover it twice. Yes. No, no, and if and if you kashered it, then you cover it once. Then I say you could cover it once. And that one cover has to have a thickness, or even malibu. plastic is good. Again, ich will machen also that you should have a cover because to be chayish of the poiskem, which say that not necessarily could be kashered, so we have a still a cover. And if that's being choishish, that maybe it will tear. Well, it's not because it's kashered. The most possible. So one cover is fine. If you cash it with Ave Malim, one cover should be fine. Yeah. Okay, so let, let me just go to a couple of questions to which uh, you had sent in before and uh, address it, which has not necessarily to do with Pesach. The first thing I will go to a Pesach question is, uh, how does one cash a knife for Pesach? Now again, first of all, Today's day, Achshadura, if you can have knives, special for Pesach, you do that. We don't use Bederich Klal, Befrat Minik Chabad, we know that. We don't use things which was Chomzdik, you cash it. But according to Alocha, you could cash it it today's day by boil, touch, by, by um, pu putting it in, in a clear region, Alwaish, it is cash it. Now you have some, some kind, you have to make sure it's clean, 100% clean. And if it's not clean, the Alter Rebbe says, then you can make Liban, Kal, and the places where there might be a Be'en. And, but if it's clean, you put it in, you, put, you, you dip it into, you, it's Eine Be'yoyma, you put it, you dip it into a Keili, which is uh, Amna Aish, and that's fine. We don't have a problem today's day of the plastic melting. Plastic does not melt today's day in hot water. So, so even if you have a plastic knife, we don't have this issue of Chayas. It's in such a way that we don't have an issue. So you could cash it the regular way, in a clear issue. But again, the meaning is that we have separate kalem for, um, for Pesach and you don't use the Chumzi kalem, but you could cash it. Um, another question, how exactly should one cash it a microwave? You don't cash it a microwave for Pesach. A microwave is a very tough thing to cash it at all, all year round. And if it became a real trifle, I say throw it away. You cannot cash it. Some poiskim will say you put in a cup, you have to evaporate. It is a big problem because it, the problem of the N. If you ever dismantle a microwave, you're going to see they have holes and you have much grease. And if you have a, a microwave which was trifle, it's impossible to cash it. And I have this question all year round. People buy new houses, Goisha houses. You cannot cash a microwave. If, for instance, you have a flashing microwave and it happened, you put in something, um, a, a milky thing, and it's covered, 
then we will rely on this. You put it in a cup and you let it evaporate after a couple of minutes because the lav dafka is due to the end from the, the other um, 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 food which you had. That means if it's a fleshy gov, not necessarily it will have milk sticks because it was only happened once. But if it is mamash, a uh, fatty thing or whatever, it's microwave is a, a, a problem, a, a serious problem all year round. If a basic, you don't cash it at all, a microwave. You invest $150 for a basic microwave and you don't cash it. In. Can one cash it in an oven for basic? As I mentioned before, if it's a self cleaning oven, you could cash it. In. If it's a non self cleaning oven, you don't cash it. In. If it's a non self cleaning oven, I say you put it out for an hour, an hour and a half on the highest level, and then you put in an insert. Today's day, not today's day, it's already uh, when I was a child, you could buy an insert which you put in the oven after it went through this limb. We will rely to use it when you put in an insert, but without an insert, we will not rely. On it. Some people will cover it all the way with silver foil, but that, that's a solution after living. But it will kill your oven and it won't bake good. So therefore it's not an option. Would you say the same thing for a commercial, a commercial no, oven? I wouldn't say for commercial has different alokas. I'm talking now on a private house. I don't want to go into commercial because that's a whole new ball game. It's okay. complicated. And for a commercial cashing, you need to take have a mimic to do it. And the major uh, companies in the major uh, hotels, you have to have a reliable person to cash when it comes to uh, events when you do it over there. There are some mimchem, there are some famous mimchem, which uh, I know them, and they dismantle these things and they know how to clean it. But it, you can, a, 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 a normal person, even a tamtuchum, will not be able to cash in a commercial kitchen. Uh, question. Uh, do we ever rely on the heter of the Chachem Tzvi of 12 months for a Kli Cheres? A very good question. The Poiskim do not agree with the Chachem Tzvi, as we know, because the Chachem Tzvi is a very, very big killer. But there are, uh, there are uh, rare occasions which they're going to use it. There are going to be any rare occasion. Let me see where I saw the Poiskim say. So what do we say about Gebrachs to wait a year? I can't hear you. What do you say? I Gebrachs, we say to wait a year from Pesach because then it's fine. How does that work? Oh, by what? By Pesach for Gebrachs. Okay, because it's only a Chimra. The reason is only because it's, it's, it's only a Chimra. Only because of that. And there are people who talk a cash every year. If it's not an Ibayur, they will cash it, their Kalem again. They won't rely on it um, if they didn't cash it. There are so, such a poiskim. But we rely on it only because it is only a chimra, and therefore, you know, we get away. When do we need this? When do we need, when do we use this question, klecheres? It is a klecheres which you uh, fell in a mashi chumats. When a mashi chumats fell in in Paisach, now, Mashi Chumetz is also, so we don't need it at Paisach. But then we will rely next year, Paisach, on a Mashi Chumetz, we will rely on Chachem Tzvi. Again, it's not practical, but people will cash it. But over there is the Rebbe Kiva. Aigi brings down a Simech Chuvuv. In such a case, you could rely on the Chachem Tzvi. And, uh, but you have to make sure if it happens uh, in the uh, beginning of Paisach, and and uh, and uh, end of Pesach, you want to use it in the beginning of Pesach, you don't have 12 months. So then you have a problem. Also, the Igris Moshe in Chaylik uh, High, similar advice, uh, will say that the Kleich is we could rely on such a thing because after all, the Kleich is a lot of persons say there's, there's not a Belia. And, but usually we don't rely on such things of the Chacham Tzvi. Even 12 months, we are not going to uh, be Michael, except for Gebrox, since the whole thing is only a Chimra. A question, should we be asking Shalas and all Lubavitch Poisek or only Lubavitch Bonham? Now, the answer is, most of the halachas, um, this, we have the same Torah. But there are some halachas, which is different, Al-Trebis Machmer, than other Poiskim. For instance, as I mentioned before, 
cashering metal kalem, not on the side, which got the bleas, or other things also. And there are also some halachas, which Alter is a big Michael, more than other poiskim. So again, preferable, you stick to al and Sharof. But again, if you have no option, or, you know, pinked, you don't have a rof, you could ask other abonum, and uh, after all, the chalikim will be only by the abonums, and if you're going to pass it like other poiskim, is auch nicht gefährlich, you know, but again, pashtas al sheyit, which goes according to the Alter Rebbe's Pesukim, should ask a Labavitcher rov. Now the question is a cute question. What is the difference between a rov and a poisek? Oh, this question is a, a loaded question, but the, basically a big chilik. A rov is most of shlichei chabad, which I take off my hat for them, a rabbonam in their city. Yeah, he's the chief rabbi in this city. He's the chief rabbi of this state. He's the chief rabbi of this country but not necessarily a poiskim. The rabbi also, always used to say, to ask a rov, which is a poiskim haluch lemaisa. Because a rov can have smicha and learn a lot, but the, all these things you forget. If you don't have practical shilas, and if you don't constantly do shilas, you are going to forget what you learned. So therefore, a rov is a very good thing, we need rabbonim, but the rov should, a poiskim is something uh, when it comes to Shilas, you have to have a rov with poisik lamaisa. You could have rabbonum, which are also poiskin, but you could also have poiskin, which are not necessarily the rabbonum. So, um, so that's a big chilik of a rov and a poisik. Um, can one use fleshing a knife to cut onions and use for fish? Okay, a very nice question. Um, Pashtisalucha, we have a locha that bleas, we don't have a problem of skum. That means if you have a pot which you cooked meat, you could cook fish in the same pot, even if it's a banyoim, because it's only a blea. Yesh mukim lahachmer, the, the Lando family, Harav Lando's family are machmer because they say that the Rebbe Shmuz Aiden, the Rebbe Shab was machmer. But that's a chimra. Strictly a locha, it is a pot which is ben yoyma, you could use for also for fish. So, but the meaning is rule is today's day, most of the people have a fish pot. That means not like the landers, was, that means they kasher than the mamash, but at least they have like a thriller, they have a fish pot, and that's dedicated dafka for fish. So therefore, the question is: could you use a knife which is a flashing knife? Cut the onion, which basically an onion is like a real tam, and use it for fish. You are permitted to do that. But again, as the meaning is rule is that you have a separate fish pot, you don't use, you, you will have a separate knife, part of knife to cut it. And if you did use it, nish um, What else? Uh, can one cash a convection oven? No. Also goes into problems because uh, there's no element inside. In, um, so again, I don't know how hot it gets. No. I have a time for another question because after this I need to go down my earth. So any, is there any question which uh, someone brings up? Uh, which one why do you know about the Again? Go, go, go ahead. Why don't we say Hamidus Akantabi is sort of by uh, fish and uh, meat? Because we, the, the, the post can say there isn't a Sekanta by Blias, only a Ba'en. This is the Friedrich post I'm talking about about this question already. But again, in Slabavitch, is the Indian Mukam Lachma to have a separate part? A separate, uh, a separate part for sure, because that's many come out of the whole world. But if the Rebbe Rashab was Mahmur, again, in as Chassid, it's Kedai to be Mahmur. But again, the, the Landos will kasher and make a Ibedra in the well. This is a thing which you don't have to do. But the knife is only for the for the onions, for the regular fish. It's not, it's not Kharif, is that correct? Again, what? Yeah, the, for the fish, not Kharif, because. Uh, uh, 
Sinishli Hansen has already because once it depends if you put if you first uh, put in the, the, the onions and it gets boiled and then you put in the fish, you're right. Because after you're putting it in, is a tzvibel with him a vishal or it loses his charef. No, no, I meant What's the temperature saying. of Liban Kal and Liban Khamer according to the Rav? Liban Khamer is again also a machroikis of achroinam. Rabbi Shabbat Shimon was machma to 12. The Matthias says that today's day. Liban, Liban Khamer, not a gala. What? Oh, you read Liban Gomer. Liban Gomer um, is, uh, they say, about six, seven hundred at least. Limkal is much lower. That's why. That's why. What would you say? What would you say is the minimum for Liban Kal, and what's the minimum for Liban Gomer? No, the Alter Rebbe says Liban Kal is the other side should be at Solis Boy. So you're I'm talking I, actual temperatures. Actual temperatures. I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't answer you. I can't answer you. In but the Alter Rebbe says two different two, two different temperatures. Sometimes Kash and sometimes Yat Solis Boy. This is what I mentioned in the beginning. Yes, and the boys can say that it's a difference if you have a chash of, of a ben also, or only a belia. Pashtis is mashma, if you have only a belia, then you could rely on the tzad shiny should be yat soldiers boy. Only if you have a chash of a belia, if you look good in the Alter Rebbe, if you have a chash of a mashi chumat, like, uh, like, uh, like uh, the Alter Rebbe has the whole halacha of uh, patches. Over there, yeah, you, you, you came to that halacha, Rani? You have, you, did you learn that halacha? The patches on, on a, yeah. over there, don't do the Alter Rebbe that you have to have kash nisra. So the person would say it's a difference if it has a ban, some kind of ban, or not a ban. That's the difference of the two, the two, um, the two, uh, uh, boiling points with ultra rights. But in, 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 in Fahrenheit, I don't know exactly how much it is. I assume the trace boys can be right. But, uh, but um, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to Hagola um, Mamash, um, the um, Shimon um, was Machma 212. The Maisa, I checked it already. It, it, it is, it will be, I would say, 108. It will be uh, real Hagola. 108? By, by Hagola. You're talking about Hagola? You're talking yeah. about Hagola? I was... no, just what you just said. 208, 208, 208. I'm sorry, 208. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I... what's not in Tafnonal, when it's saying about cashing the knives in Tafnonal, it says yeah. that even if it's not on the fire, and then I think in the Magna of Ram or the Taz, it says as long as it's Yad Siladisboy to do Hagola for knives. What's not that it... has a, a, a more cold to share? Of what again? What do you say? In Simitaf Nunalif, yeah. it says for now the Shukh the Machaba writes that you, you need you need to have uh, the, uh, even if it's not on the fire anymore, as long as it's still retea. Yeah, and but the Alter Rebbe holds that Agola does not need to be on the fire. This is by the way, a, a cloud which you have to know. The Alter Rebbe says if it's Mala Babi, it doesn't have on the fire mamash. So yeah, uh, but but it says, but it's the the I don't remember if it's the Magna Vrama or the Taz that says even if it's not, even if it's Hayatsi, as long as it's still Hayatsi let us play. As long as as it's still Hayatsi let us play. No, no, but the, the Alter Rebbe writes uh Kashnist over here, but by, by by this thing. No, no, I'm talking about by by Hagala. No. The, 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 by the Sakinim, it says that you could be, do Hagala even if it's not on the fire, as long as it's still hot and as long as it's still Yatsi Ladisboy. And you don't need Abba Boys. Where, where does the Alter Rebbe say such a thing? I'm saying what, what in the Machaber. Oh, the Magan of Ram that says Yatsi Ladisboy. So, and it means Yatsi Ladisboy is more Machaber? What? And it means Yatsi Ladisboy, not Mala Babias? That's what it says, eh? No, the Alter Rebbe doesn't hold, doesn't go like that. The Alter Rebbe shops as Alas Dazar Mala Babias. I don't remember, it should be uh, Yatsi Ladisboy, should be for knives, but uh, fine. I also check the Matthias to be Mala Babuis when it's, when, it's, when it's off of the age. And you put it's something in. The first second, the what? 
But I thought we said we need a shear of a few seconds to do Argolo. What's the shear? How long does uh, does the cleat have to be inside? A second. Doesn't have to be. Uh, doesn't have to be long. Doesn't have to be long. It's but I it was... but no difference. Okay. And I'm saying, and what about if it's a bigger cleat? Automatically, it's going to cool down. So you're saying only something very small will be malva buoys. But if you take a yeah, bigger it's cleat. not a practically once it's off the it's off the fire. Once it's off the fire, if it's a, yeah, and the but Lamar, so then, what? So then, what's the Machaber writing that the Magdalen be Kliedishin or Kliedishin Nikra she tichu be Maim al Eish? I feel any at al Eish should actually identify the Tayach. The Tayach means bubbling. Exactly. But well, so then the Magen of Ram says Shayatil Shaydanu the Tayach means Shayatil at this point, which is way colder. It's what? Shayatil at this point is a lot less than bubbling. It the really cooled down. Is less, but the Alt Rebbe doesn't mention such a thing. The Alt Rebbe so, doesn't so, mention such a thing. Okay. Alt Rebbe always has to be a Malababis. There's no such thing as Kashin just because of Yat Salzburg. No such a thing. Always has to be Malababis. It could be the Alt Rebbe lent around us with the, the Mugna Vurum Zukt. Means Yat Salzburg might Och Malababis. But again, Kazanish. Kazanas. The Alt Rebbe Ramas Hal as there's no such thing as. Passion if it's not mala babies. And again, it's not the it's not Mati, almost come up Matthias that it, it, it should be not on the fire and should be mala babies. It could happen for a minute or two, but that's about it. So that's so that's my question. Why the machaber is writing, even if it's off of the fire, like like Monashach, if it once it's off the fire, it's cooling down. Yeah, but if so it, it sounds like that according to the machaber, it could be a lot colder. Or, it's misnabber that if you're saying it could be off the fire, it makes sense it should be less than a baboy and yatsil as long as yatsil are this way. Oh, but the Alt Rebbe itself writes it should be mala babies, and the Alt Rebbe I don't say it, it could be even a, a not a raish. So the Matthias is it practically it won't happen only for half a minute. Right. So okay. he says the locha, but baboy in the practical takim is tigrecht. It's it, it's only possible to do. If if you if you have one one Kaylee, a small Kaylee, you take off and you put it on. That's the Mati in Matthias. The other zoom did the halucha. But poil, Matthias wise, it's very, it's very tough. It should it should happen. Because even Allah Aish is you, you're putting in a Kaylee or two, and you're gonna have this problem. Okay, yes, okay. Okay, I'll need to go. Zat Magazine, Akush Mayak in uh, was a maslich on the limit of the toilet.